A new Marvel Spider-Man movie is coming to theaters this summer. Did you see the new trailer yet? You might also already know about the astounding Spider-Man game that was released last September on PS4. But did you know actually there are a bunch of past games related to Spider-Man? Let's check those out in this video. Part 1 will introduce games based on the Spider-Man comics, while Part 2 will cover games based on the Spider-Man movies. The renowned game company Activision produced lots of impressive games through the years, most being related to Spider-Man. Starting their first series of Spider-Man games in 2000, which was even earlier than the first Spider-Man movie series, they kept at it until January 2nd, 2014, which was when the license expired. For today's video, we'll introduce all comic-based Spider-Man games that were published by Activision. The first Spider-Man game from Activision was called Spider-Man. It was released almost 20 years ago for PlayStation, PC, and Game Boy. Graphics look stunning considering this was in 2000. The game's storyline is based on Marvel Comics' The Amazing Spider-Man. Familiar bosses such as Venom, Carnage, Scorpion, Rhino, Mysterio, and Symbiote Dr. Octopus were all included. Activision then released a sequel in 2001 called Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro, only for PlayStation. The game follows Spider-Man as he attempts to stop another old nemesis, Electro, from obtaining a source of power known as the Bio-Nexus device. Other bosses included in the game were Shocker, Hammerhead, Lizard, Sandman, and the charged up Hyper Electro. Aside from that sequel, Activision also released one called Spider-Man 2 The Sinister Six for Game Boy Color. The Sinister Six were Mysterio, Sandman, Vulture, Scorpion, Kraven, and the mastermind of the group, Dr. Octopus. Two more Game Boy Spider-Man games were released soon after, Spider-Man Mysterio's Menace in 2001 and Spider-Man Battle for New York in 2006. Honestly, I'd love to try those out. Moving on from 2005 to 2010, three more comic-based Spider-Man games were released. 2005's Ultimate Spider-Man, which was available for PS2, Xbox, and Game Boy, graphics give you a sense of being in an actual comic book. Personally, I really love this style. In 2008, Spider-Man Web of Shadows was released for PS3, PS2, Xbox 360, Wii, and more. Some gave positive reviews on the game's boss fights, destructive combat, original storyline, and voiceovers. However, others were critical of the game's limitations, such as the camera controls, the syncing issues, and the ugly graphics. What's sad was that Web of Shadows was removed from all digital stores on January 1st, 2014, along with most of the other Spider-Man games published by Activision. Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions, released in 2010, players control four different versions of Spider-Man, each originating from a different universe in the Marvel Comics multiverse. In the game, Madam Web calls on four versions of Spider-Man from four realities to assist her in bringing the realities back into balance. The Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Man Noir, Spider-Man 2099, and Ultimate Spider-Man. Shattered Dimension storyline sounds and looks stellar. Last but not least, the last comic book based Spider-Man game from Activision was called Spider-Man Edge of Time. It was considered as a sequel to Shattered Dimensions. Both Spider-Man Noir and Ultimate Spider-Man aren't featured, yet only mentioned in the game. This game ended up only staying alive for a short time, since it was delisted and removed like the other Marvel licensed Activision games. We introduced all the comic based Spider-Man games published by Activision. As a reminder, Part 2 will cover the three different Spider-Man movie series, each with their own game version. So stay tuned for Part 2. Until next time!